In this video, I'm gonna show you three exercises to help you improve your running form by fixing a hip drop, otherwise known as Trendelenburg gait. So lots of us will be familiar with a hip drop, the tendency as you land on your, let's say, left foot here to see the right hip drop off to the opposite side, or of course, vice versa. It's really about poor hip stability and a lack of effective work being done through a muscle called gluteus medius, so glute med right here. Glute med is all about stabilizing the hip laterally, and when he doesn't do his job, we see things like this typical hip drop sign. So strengthening this muscle, improving hip stability, will help improve your tendency to drop the hips. Now, let's start out by looking at the first of these exercises, which is an isometric hold. We're going to get around about six inches away from the wall, and from here, bring the knee up in front of you, so we're flexing this hip. I want you to touch the wall with only the outside of your knee. Nothing else touches the wall in this position. So from here, outside of the knee against the wall, and I want you to push, really press that knee into the wall. From here, we're keeping the knee soft on the standing leg, staying nice and tall for our posture. And you should feel the harder you press the knee into the wall, the more work you end up doing through the outside of the hip, through those glutes on the standing leg. So although in this case I'm pressing with the left leg, it's actually the right glutes that I'm training to actually provide the stability on this standing leg. And we stand and hold this press, really maintain this for 30 to 60 seconds on each side three times through. That's gonna help you build strength and stability and learn how to engage glute med on that standing leg. Now in this static position, it's a good start point, but from there we can take that into a more dynamic exercise where we're starting to actually work through the range of motion that we're looking to control on the standing hip. So this next exercise is a hip drop exercise and we can either do this with a bent knee or with a straight leg, but I find it easier with a straight leg off the edge of a step because it gives you somewhere to drop that straight leg down to further than or lower than the height of the standing leg. So we're going to start out nice and upright, nice and tall, pelvis nice and level. I want you to picture, or well you can even put your hands around your pelvis to get an idea for pelvic level. Keeping this knee stiff, okay, not locked out, but we're not squatting up and down on this knee. Keeping this knee stiff, we're going to allow that hip drop to happen. So it's actually the movement we don't want to see. Allow yourself to drop down. You can see my hands have changed levels here. From here, I want you to consciously squeeze your butt on the standing leg and feel how that conscious squeeze allows you to lift back up to this level position. Again, we drop and squeeze. Drop and squeeze back up. Again, it's all about consciously engaging through glute med, but also working over time to improve your balance. Now, with this, you can also Combine the squeeze through your glutes with a gentle drawing of the belly button. So we're starting to engage your core at the same time as engaging your glutes, teaching your body to work those two important muscle groups together to provide stability around the hips and pelvis. Gonna work through three sets of 15 on each side, but remember, we're not locking out this standing knee, we're keeping it ever so slightly bent as you work through the range of motion. Okay, that's all about retraining the movement pattern, teaching your body how to control and learn to pull back from that hip drop position. Get better at maintaining, setting and maintaining this nice, stable, level pelvis position. You don't need a box for that necessarily. This is why sometimes I do teach it with a bent knee, because if you're working with a bent knee, you've got the clearance to do that without needing to drop the foot effectively lower than the standing foot. Okay, now, the third of these exercises. If we've started out by, with the isometric exercise, learning to switch on your glutes, then learning to teach the body to work through range of motion and control that range of motion, the third is all about building strength. And this is a toughie. So we're gonna start out in a modified side plank position. So instead of being typical side plank here, I want you to bend the knee on the downward leg, so the leg that's on the floor, and it's just the outside of the knee that's gonna to touch the ground as we come up into this side plank position here. So it's a bent knee side plank. Now from here, I want you to lift up to 90 degrees or up to parallel with the ground with the top leg. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. 
and then come back down and down. Then we're up and up. And again, 10 seconds. And we're doing 10 times 10 second holds. Now, in this position, with the bent knee, it puts far more emphasis on your glutes than your core, as you would feel with a, a typical side plank exercise. And then holding this leg up against gravity, again, glutes on this side having to work really hard. So it's a good kind of double whammy type exercise. So 10 times 10 second holds on each side. Now, if you want to, again, really work on engaging those glutes before you start running, I'd actually suggest checking out a video that I posted here very recently on the channel, which talks about a glute activation warm-up sequence that you can do to really get those butt muscles working before your run. It'll make such a difference in your ability to control those hips and run pain-free. So check that out, and I'll see you in the next of these videos.